Danger Dolan. Back in vanilla, it took people months to ding to level 60. Now, Blizzard are thinking about letting you purchase a level 90 character immediately. What this means is, you go onto the Blizzard store, you say, yes, I want a level 90 rogue. Suddenly, bam, you can just log in and start experiencing the Wall of Adrenal content straight away. Now, this is not a rumor, this is actually going to happen. They haven't revealed the costs involved. There's been no information on whether or not there's a cooldown, so maybe you could just keep buying level 90s over and over and over. Maybe buy level 90, send it to your friend's account. So let's talk about whether or not this is a good or a bad change to the world of Warcraft. I have five points to get through, two of which are viewer comments, one of which is a huge controversial topic, which I will leave for last. So without further ado, let's jump into number one, microtransactions on a subscription model. Is it money grubbing? See now I'm fine with pets or mounts or name changes and cosmetic stuff, fine on the Blizzard store because it doesn't affect the game. It doesn't increase your power, it just makes you feel good. It's the exact same model as League of Legends or say Dota 2, where you can change your skin, it doesn't affect the areas of the game it just makes you look better it is still cheesy that they have microtransactions with the sub model until now they have not stepped over the line but guess what now they have what they are doing is removing a giant grindy part of the game boosting you forward so that you can play with friends which is an honorable sentiment but it doesn't change the fact that you are charging people to get there People who buy Wall of Dreno are just going to get a free 90 anyway. The whole point of an expansion is that everything is reset, gear levels are reset. Everyone is busy leveling up, it's a good time for guilds to recruit because there's no need for fancy gear or achievements out the ass. So then you might turn around and say, well if they're giving you a free level 90 with the purchase of Wall of Dreno, why not just cut it off right there, just say, you know, don't include this microtransaction level 90. The problem there is that people would buy multiple copies of Walter Draenor and then server transfer that character to their account. So not only are you paying for pretty much all the copies of WoW including World Adrenal in order to get the free character, but you're also charged a server transfer to get it there. And server transfers themselves are a whole nother bag of worms because essentially if your server is dead and you want to transfer to a more lively one with a rating scene, you are charged to do that. You are charged to play an aspect of the game unless you want a watered down version like LFR, which is just a cross realm type system. So if the main problem is that people would buy multiple copies of WAD and then transfer, why don't they just make these boosted characters account bound? Well, that should be rather obvious. It's the same reason why pets on the pet store are charged real money instead of being, say, unlockable. Even though you pay 15 bucks a month. So long as people are willing to shell out the ching ching to get this shit done, they're gonna continue to supply it. Why would they stop? Obviously, a higher up saw at BlizzCon that they were introducing this free level 90 and they thought, well, why don't you just start charging for it? That would generate a lot more income than just this. So no, I do not believe there's gonna be a solution to this. They just see an area of the game that people do not really like playing and they want to speed you along at a nice little profit. But if we flip to the other side of the coin for a second, it's been so long since WoW was released, right? People are sick of leveling alts. I myself, I get to Outland and then I do not want to level up anymore. Has the time finally come where Blizzard has sat down and said there are too many levels for people to go through. New players are getting concerned about the fact that they've got a hundred levels to go and they just want to play with friends anyway. Since we don't have any scaling technology to scale max level down to a lower level and because a lot of people are sick of rolling alts, should we create a breakpoint where from now on with future expansions because they're obviously going to make a lot more people can start off at level 90 if they so choose. It does make sense when you take a step back for a second. If there were yearly expansion sets, right? By the time we reach level 150, nobody is going to want to grind ults anymore. We need a point in which people can say, alright, I'm going to spend a little extra money because I really want to play a shaman, but I don't want to dedicate the next few months of my life just getting it to max level. Not only that, but maybe five expansions from now, they could have another point where they say, okay, level 160. Let's just boost people straight there if they so choose and then craft another little area where people can learn their class really quick, just like the DK experience, just like this new level 90 experience in Draenor. So, microtransactions on a subscription model. Is it money grubbing? 
Fuck yes it is. However, there are levels where it's acceptable and levels where it is not. We are bordering quite harshly on the area where I say, go home, you're drunk with greed. So let's move on to the second major point, which is, could leveling up through old content be the real issue here? Because the fact is, at this moment, it is really hard to play with friends if, say, they don't have a max level character. When there's 90 levels to go, when you have Recruit a Friend in which you can just blast through the leveling experience within 2 seconds, which isn't very immersive or interesting, and then you have heirloom experience bonuses. So if you already have a level 90 character and you happen to have grinded a few dungeons and you've got these heirlooms and your buddy does not, you have to actually restrict how powerful you are because the experience bonuses on the armor is set into it. You cannot turn it off. So you are either forced to do a recruiter friend in which you speed through it or you have to wear no armor and have it take forever, which is also crap. Mostly because the leveling experience is so easy. Let me put it into perspective, right? I'm not just saying this from nostalgia because I played back in vanilla. I've actually gone onto a vanilla private server and tested this out myself. If you start off with, say, a human in Northshire Abbey, and you start killing a bunch of kobolds and things, it's actually not that difficult. But then you go across the lake and you've got a bunch of Defias Brotherhood type characters. They are set so close to each other, they have such a huge aggro table, you have got no armor. Not to mention some classes just don't have the abilities to survive at low level. You actually had to stand back, look at the mobs and think how do I get to my objective which is to pick up a bunch of these little cabbage things. I had to watch these mobs patrol around the field and then sneak in after them as if I'm playing Metal Gear Solid. The difficulty hits you right away, but it's not artificial difficulty, it's just do you have a brain, yes or no? If you said yes, then you're probably going to survive up until level 60. And it's going to be a lot of fun because you're going to run into a lot of areas where it's actually ridiculously difficult. But just like raids, once you defeat a boss, you feel a huge sense of accomplishment. You don't even need a reward because the actual victory is the reward. Things got really crazy in Cataclysm with conveniences where you could take a portal to go straight across half the entire continent. And that style of thinking of pushing you straight to somewhere continues to this day. And there used to be a rite of passage, not just a max level with attunement chains, but with leveling. You got to prove yourself by actually going through the levels to get to max level, to get into dungeons, to get into raids. Whereas these days, it begs the question, what is even the point of leveling up? The world is interesting, a lot of role players have a lot of fun in that type of environment, there's a lot of good story there, but actually grinding at the levels is just monotonous, and it's just pure padding while you're on your way to do something that's actually exciting, which is max level content. Now before, I have mentioned in an Emerald Dream discussion the idea of hard mode leveling, giving people options, a way for veterans to go back and actually find some challenge in the leveling curve. Now a user on the official WoW forums listed a bunch of ways they could make leveling not just more difficult, but more interesting. Interesting. To give a quick summary, they mention character scaling, scaling a max level character down in order to be able to do quests with your friends. The technology is already in place, they can scale down your gear levels and abilities in say 5 man dungeons, there's no reason why they can't just do it in the world. And I might go out on a limb and just say you don't need to have rewards for the max level scale of characters when they're doing open world content, because they're playing with their friends, that is their reward. I would love to be able to do that. They also mention buffing all mobs pre-mop because apparently it takes 2-4 to four lava burst crits to kill an average quest mob. And I can totally attest to this, if I level up as a tank, I just round up like 10 mobs and just AOE them down instantly, no challenge whatsoever, my health doesn't even go down. They also mention doing dynamic events like the Time of Sile. And then journal entries when you do quests, which I believe they're doing with Wallets of Draenor. And also a stacking buff every time you do something in a zone, which encourages you to stay there and actually keep questing. But the number one reason why I believe they should not be doing this instant level 90 thing, even when they charge you, which is in itself a deterrent for most people, it's because it hurts world immersion when you can skip story. It's cool that a new player can just jump straight into World's Adrenal and play with their friends as soon as that expansion releases. The problem there is most people don't even know what the hell happened before that point, unless you've already been playing for a long time. 
this could technically be solved if they introduce this level 90 thing, but then they also had it so you can see all the story of everything that happened pre-mop in just one big huge cinematic. Like they play all the patch trailers one after the other and they have a narration to keep you up on what the hell is going on. I mean they've already got it in place where they teach you how to play a class as soon as you do the instant level 90 so there's no reason why they can't help people get into the lore. I mean it sucks that you will be able to skip all that leveling content but the game has been going on long enough that it is acceptable in some rights. By the same token though it is insulting and I'm concerned that we're gonna go down the same cataclysm route where they make things so convenient that people lose interest. A lot of people spend all their time leveling alts. What the hell are they going to do now and they can just buy one instantly? 90% of the time when you give someone the option to do something really easy or convenient or just there's no limit to it. As an example, you got daily quests, right? They removed the 25 daily cap and suddenly people felt obligated to do every single daily ever. Whereas back in BC you would only have like 10 dailies. So now people are just going to see the level 90 in the store and think, well, I could spend a few months actually leveling up through all this cool content, or I could just buy this, and I just feel like buying this, and they're just gonna do that. So I would be concerned, but at least they're not doing something silly like removing leveling entirely. So now we have our first viewer comment from Dirt PvP. Although I am tired of leveling through the same content outland in Northrend, I would rather be able to buy XP boosts, something like the amount you get for RAF. It would mean new players still get to learn the basics of the game and their class and the veterans would be able to power level to max without breaking a sweat. Oh and one more thing, you should have at least one max character before you can purchase XP boosts. Along that line of thinking, a lot of people have suggested that the only way it would be acceptable to have microtransaction level 90s is if you already have a level 90. And while this does make sense, because it's just like the DK model where you must have level 55 in order to roll a Death Knight, the fact is, when you get Wall of the Draenor, you get a free level 90. So doesn't it nullify that idea? If there was a way to differentiate a boosted character and a regular character, just like my example from before where a boosted character is account bound, right? Maybe regular characters can be marked as saying, you leveled it up, all the way from level 1, that means you can now purchase a level 90. Now if we're going to talk about alternatives to buying a level 90, we have to look at the problem that it's trying to solve. It wants you to be able to play with your friends straight away in the new content. Just like the Timeless Isle just throwing gear at you in order to be able to raid. It is essentially a catch up mechanism. Now what Dirt PvP suggests is that you just increase the XP boost so you can just shell out some money and then boost straight through the zones maybe you don't even want to do, all the way to max level. Does this really help the problem? Well, they've already been doing this with heirlooms, with that trinket thing that drops in Pandaria that gives you like a, a huge amount of XP per hour. And it just doesn't solve the problem. People like to be able to ding really fast and get to max level. But people have been crying out that they can't even finish all the quests in a zone before they're all greyed out. They can't even experience the entire content because they outlevel it so fast. And then you have another crowd that's saying we don't want to just stay behind with our alts and do really hard content because we just want to get to max level. That's all we want to do. We want to turn off our brains and just grind. So Blizzard sat down and looked at it and said, okay, if we scale people down, that's going to take forever to balance. If we implement a hard mode of leveling, that's going to be outrageous. A complete overhaul of the game, like an expansion's worth of overhauling, and they saw that the Cataclysm revamp didn't go so well. So they said, okay, instead of going back and fixing up all this old content again, which you guys obviously don't like, let's just focus on a really kick-ass endgame. We want to get your friends there immediately and get playing. If you want to go back and experience the LFR equivalent of questing, in contrast to the vanilla hard mode, then you've always got alts. See now, I do not want to see XP boosts on a Blizzard store, right? I have thoroughly enjoyed the fact that if you work hard enough in this game, they provide you with ways to be able to level faster in your alts. That's just a nice little convenience feature, I've always liked that. But the idea of level 90s being able to be bought straight away with no cooldown involved, it's really disheartening. So maybe there is an another alternative to buying level 90, maybe you could just make it in-game unlockable and not just by dinging a certain level like the DK but make it something like the legendary quest chain make a lot of things in the game that are huge rewards something that you can work on by yourself as you know solo progression and make it so that you can actually unlock the ability to start a new level 90 
and then implement a lot of cooldowns involved, a lot of materials that you need, maybe you have to spend a lot of gold to get there, maybe you need your friend's help on occasion. What they should be doing is encouraging you to stay subscribed to the game, to keep playing, to work hard on this thing, to unlock your new level 90. Then when you're subscribed, you're paying them every month anyway, you're getting your money's worth. Everything should be an incentive to keep subscribing. Like right now, I have no incentive to stay subscribed, like there's no content there, there's nothing to work on for myself. I've got everything I've wanted that isn't, say, cosmetic or achievements or things that are just arbitrary objectives. And it seems like a really solid idea to have this huge feature, this unlockable feature that people can work towards and they can aspire to claim for themselves. Just think of it as the mother of all XP boosts. And now let's move on to our next viewer comment. This one is quite long. Renark120 says, I can understand making leveling faster. It's to encourage newcomers that the trek to end game isn't so bad. It just requires patience. I can understand giving one free 90 boost in WAD. It encourages not just newcomers, but also old players who are interested in WAD to come jump right into the action. Purchasable level 90s, that's where I draw the line. There isn't even any reason behind it, besides lazy people throwing their money at Blizzard to make the game even easier than it already is. All this I do would successfully do is bring in a community of people who only want things to come easy, more than it already is. Want an ult? Well, instead of experiencing the leveling content, since I already used that one 90 boost, I'll just buy another 90. Simple and easy. To put it simply, I only like the one free 90 boost because that's exactly what it is. You can only do it once, so even after, if you want to make another ult or a first ult if you're a newcomer, then you still have to witness the leveling content. Giving the ability to buy 90s would make the leveling process before 90 entirely pointless. While they're at it, they may as well throw away LFR and give us the gear in a neat little packages just for logging on. So there has been a bit of a habit by Blizzard to throw rewards at people even though they haven't really done much. I would point out LFR, but I do not want to beat a dead horse even further. So a Blizzard catering to the casual audience way too much has gotten out of control. Well, let's look at the good and the bad aspects of the purchasable level 90. On the good side, you can play with friends a lot faster. You don't need to make them level up all this way just to be able to experience the cool new content. The downside to that is that these people won't know what the fuck to do. If they've never played an MMO before, they'll have a hard time deciphering all the action bars and all the lingo that we all take for granted. Another good point is if you're sick of leveling, such as through Outland, this is the solution for you. You can now feel free to skip it whenever you just don't feel like doing it. It's more options and more options in this game is always a good thing. Let's look at the bad side. This is a band-aid on a wound that should not exist. So just like dungeons and heroic dungeons of today, the leveling experience doesn't even know what it is anymore. It's just padding for the sake of padding. So what happened there was Blizzard catered so much to the casual audience in making the leveling experience so mindless that it actually turned out to be bad and suddenly everyone wants to skip it. So as Renark mentions, this would foster a bad community. If you think about Death Knights, when they were first introduced in Wrath of the Lich King, they were the first hero class. They were actually tuned to be not really more powerful, but have a lot more options. And it's just a shame that because of that, they were more powerful anyway. So you had a lot of uh, new blitz who maybe never even reached max level, suddenly have the option to go with the Death Knight. They leveled that to maximum level, which at the time was 80. And because DKs were so easy to play, it means you didn't really have to think about leveling up that much. You could skip all the awful vanilla leveling content. You could go straight from Outland to Northrend. So it was like a casual, noob-friendly way to level up to maximum. And there were just Death Knights running everywhere. They just did not even know how to play. They didn't even know the rotations. They didn't know how to talent tree properly. It gave birth to the term Death Nubs. And you got a lot of them when you're running the LFG dungeons. So that crowd, that specific casual crowd... They were the first to start demanding things like, I need raids that I can make to on extremely strict times. I need the LFR system. I need to be able to gear up without having to get 24 other people together. And that's where the Valor system came from and badges. So now this is going to be an even worse situation because now Blizzard are actually encouraging you to skip content. They are fostering the LFR, I deserve to win in a short amount of time as possible mentality. Just to make my point, I'm going to draw your eyes to a forum post that I found recently on this whole purchasable level 90 situation, right? 
So he says, I'm finishing up medical school and this summer I'll be starting residency. I love playing this game, but I can't justify putting in the time to level all my tunes to max level every expansion. Just because you think I'm a lazy jerk, you want to penalize me and force me to choose which characters I want to grind through the same mundane kill X number of Y, escort Z and bring A to B type of quests? That's not what this game is about. This is the type of attitudes that this system encourages. It is entitlement. It is blatant. Ridiculous entitlement. There should always be options in this game for people who are, say, time starved. Something like the flex system is perfect because you can drop in, drop out. Lowering the difficulty or grind on something, or removing it entirely so the average Joe can finish it, is the worst possible thing you can do. So on one hand, you have the convenience of being able to buy a level 90. On the other, you have instant skip. It's saying, it's alright guys, you can just feel free to just jump over all the obstacles and go straight to the fun part. And look, putting these 90s on the Blizzard store is a huge change, very controversial. Back in the day, it probably would have made me quit the game because it's that big of a deal. These days though, WoW has been around for so long, people have seen all the content and I mean these days there are like 90 levels to go up, it's quite a bit. As time goes on you do need this starting point that is accelerated beyond all that stuff. As we get more expansions, we're gonna need it. And now for my final big topic. Are Blizzard Store level 90s paving the way for a pay to win model for WoW? What I mean by that is that this system escalates. You can now buy heroic gear on the Blizzard store. If you're sick of collecting pets in the world, you can now buy the pet pack on the Blizzard store and you get 300 pets all at once. What I'm saying is they have a model of WoW where you can just click a button and it finishes the game for you. You might think that's extreme, but it always starts small. It always starts with a little thing. Maybe they'll say, okay, uh, people don't have to grind dungeons to get into raids, guys. What you can do is purchase the blue gear pack and get straight into the raids that you want to get into. Or how about this? Instead of doing uh, some kind of a legendary quest chain to fly in Draenor, you pay us two bucks and you can just do it instantly. It's scary. It's like, it's as if a higher up is at Blizzard HQ and is ordering them to do this, to put all their fancy work, all the mounts and all the pets and this level 90 on the Blizzard store because they look at the sub drops every quarter and they're thinking, okay, obviously the game's gonna die soon and we've got a lot of employees to pay at Blizzard, so we're gonna need some kind of a contingency plan. So it always starts with the little conveniences, the removal of grinds, and then it escalates to Let's just boost you straight to the best gear ever, so long as you keep paying us. See, free-to-play games do this. They remove grinds so long as you either pay a sub fee or you just buy certain packs on this inbuilt store. The difference is, not only are we paying Blizzard money per month to play the game, but we also paid for the game. I mean, every time an expansion launches, isn't it like 40, 60 bucks? Even more in Australia. Of course, like all things, there is an upside to this. So you think about it beforehand, right? You could eBay your character. I remember back in, say, BC, I was seriously considering buying a, a character off eBay because I just could I didn't have enough time. I was at school. I couldn't level up all the way to 70 and get all the gear and everything. I just wanted to be geared so I could raid with my guild. And so the inbuilt store is a lot safer in that regard. But now that the Blizzard store is built into the game, that you can click a button and immediately pay for it, that is the problem. It's a huge issue, and it's the same issue that ruined the LFG system at the start of Cataclysm. They had a lot of difficult heroics in there. People could click a button and get in there. So, based on how easy it is to get into the dungeon, they expect the same difficulty inside the dungeon. And now suddenly, you can buy a level 90 on the store. But you don't even have to close your window. You can just buy it in the game and suddenly you look at the character list and it's there. So then people are going to overuse this, which will cause rippling social effects. The highest of which is that people will not want to level alts if they have the option to just pay a little bit more and get level 90. People are going to get burnt out on Drenol content because they are going to continually be buying the boost to level 90. Now, I wouldn't necessarily have a huge, as huge of an issue with this if WoW happened to go free to play, which probably is not going to happen for a good long while. At the moment, it's a little sickening 
and I really hope it does not escalate further than this, but I'm expecting it to. This is just the start of a very shaky, dodgy road. I mean, I don't even have a solution or anything really overly positive to say about them going down this route with the instant level 90. It's convenient, and I was kind of hoping that they would stick with the free one you get with WAD, but now they've gotten into the mindset that people are just going to buy multiple expansion copies and then server transfer, so we may as well just put it on the store. It is cheesy, and I don't like it, but I'm probably going to use it. <laughs> Because hey, leveling up sucks. And I only do it when I want to turn off my brain and watch a movie on my other monitor. Anyway, that's it for this discussion. As for a topic for the next video, please refer to the comment box below. Leave a reply to that comment to be featured in the next discussion. That's it. Have a good one.